for the sign of Scorpio. Hello and welcome to my channel. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Scorpio, the recent past energy between you and your person, we got the moon card and it's with the page of wands. So the page of wands can be um, someone reaching out, wanting to communicate. Page of Wands can be about a lot of passion. So, what I'm getting, Scorpio, is that the person that you're dealing with, there probably was a lot of communication. Oh, or this person used to reach out to you a lot. There could have been a lot of passion between you and this person because they had they had a lot of passion for you and um, because it's a page of wands this is telling me that for some of you Scorpios you were dealing with the Aries a Leo and some of you could have been dealing with the Sagittarius now because it's with the moon card this moon card can be about feeling psychic, intuitive. It can be about your instincts could be serving you well. They could be. So what I'm getting is that you felt like something was hidden from you. Or your, pe your person was keeping secrets. Or you felt like they weren't saying like they really felt. Something was hidden. Something was not being said. And you just felt it and you knew it. But you also knew that this person, they had, um, um, yeah, the Page of Wands. Could have been great passion between you and this person. Or they were just really into you. In a very passionate way. And they were, there was communication from this person. I'm getting a lot. But you just felt like something was not quite right. With the moon card here. But let's move on over. Let's see what's coming up for the two of you. We got the Six of Cups. And it's with the Queen of Wands. Now the Six of Cups is the card that's above the word present. This can be about nostalgia, looking back on how things used to be. It can be, but not always, connected with children or childhood. But when you get the Six of Cups, it is definitely important to, to it's important to stay um, focused towards the future. Because the Six of Cups is, is telling me that there's, there's a lot of familiarity between you and this person. Um, you could feel like you've known this person before. Maybe from a past life, if you believe in that. There was a certain... Um, there was a certain um, deep connection that the two of you had. And it just felt... You felt really comfortable with this person, and they felt that way about you. Yeah, the Six of Cups can be about familiarity, and that's what I'm getting strongly for you and your person. And you could start to feel this way even more so coming up. And the Queen of Wands, the card below the word present, it's about determine, determination. It can be about knowing your worth, being egotistical, and very confident. Very confident is the Queen of Wands. So, your person, they could be very determined about you, and very determined and confident about the connection, because coming up, the two of you will start to feel 
you could start to feel more close to each other. Even more so than you have in the past. You two could be looking back on the great memories that the two of you, you made together. And it's going to make your person even more determined about the connection. So yeah, the two of you are getting, the two of you share a lot of great memories with the Six of Cups here. And so that's what's coming up. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the challenge is. We got the devil and we got the lovers. So this is telling me that yeah, there is a deep connection between you and this person. Very deep with the lover's card. The lover's card is actually, it's associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. This is the card that's below the word challenge. So this is telling me that some of you Scorpios, you're dealing with a strong soulmate. Very strong. Ooh, and it's with the devil's the devil card, the card that's above the word challenge. So there's a strong obsession. Someone is feel feel really tied and bound to this connection. This could be you or your person, or it could be both of you. Yeah, this person has a hold on you or you feel like they've got a strong hold on you or you got a strong hold on this person the devil card can be about obsession it can be about greed it can be about in envy materialism sexual lust and we all know addictions to be drug abuse, alcohol abuse. But there's some type of strong attachment here. You got this soulmate card. The lovers is a strength of two. It's a coming together. It's a union. It's a deep connection. And it could possibly lead to marriage, commitment, proposal but there's the devil card is usually unhealthy though so there's some type of unhealthiness going on here yeah the two of you could feel just chained and bound to each other <clears throat> it's it's definitely a soul for some of you this is a strong soul connection that's a challenge now, let's move on over. Let's see what the outcome is. We got the Emperor, and it's with the Hermit. So, the Emperor is um, about using your head over your heart. And the Hermit, well, it's about solitude, spending time alone. So, because you could still feel like your person is keeping secrets or something is hidden or um, they're not really saying how they feel you could feel like you want to turn your heart off because maybe you're afraid of getting hurt by this connection yeah the emperor doesn't use his heart only his head so you could want to, you could be wanting to to detach from this. There's some unhealthiness here with the devil card. You could feel like you want to detach and just go cold. Maybe spend some time alone. And your person, they feel this. They feel your energy without you even telling them. With this lover's card here. And the six of cups. It's about familiarity. Yeah, there's, there's a strong connection here in this reading. So, your person could start to feel like the hermit, the word, the card that's below the word outcome. They could start to feel like you are making this connection not a priority. Because they, 
they feel you're going into hermit mode and you're becoming detached from them or you they can feel you trying to to pull away from them so it looks like the outcome is you wanting some time alone you feel like there's some unhealthiness here with the devil card there's a strong tie on this connection strong hold they've got on you or you've got on them there could be some uh, some some addictions and some secrets here so it looks like you you want you do want to attach for the out you want you do want to detach you want to withdraw in some kind of way and you're making your person feel like they're not a priority Yeah, with the Hermit card. Yeah, you could be wanting to just spend time alone. So that is the reading that I have for you, Scorpio. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below of the extended of this reading. Where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Scorpio, thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care. I hope that you guys come back and join me for the next Scorpio reading. Which will be in about another four or five days. Just in case this one did not resonate, maybe the next one will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed, meaning you could be them or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, a co-worker, or a situation. So just take the readings for however it resonates, because once again, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Scorpio, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care. And take care.